Oh, hello. I did not see you there. Yo, 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 it's me, it's me, it's your boy, the P-O-P-S, coming to you live once again from the power of my room. And instead of showing you a game review like I would normally do, I figured today I should show you just what I already have in the format of a room survey, room tour. So I guess let's just get started. Uh, right here, you'll notice, and you might have seen them in my, in my last video, uh, you'll notice that I've got these like glass cases covered, you know, f filled with uh, very high quality Street Fighter statues, and then you got your Dark Stalkers over there. But uh, for the most part, it's Street Fighter, and those technically aren't mine; they're my dad's. But you know, we don't have a big place, so you gotta have somewhere to put them. In. We just put them in my room. Um, but yeah, uh, you you're not gonna know this, but uh, I'm a very big Street Fighter guy, so yeah, that's uh, a very nice addition to my room. Add some color where I'm in a white room, and then right in between them, you'll see my entire little setup here. So I got your Samsung TV. Don't know what model it is or anything. If you want to know, just ask me or something in the comments. And uh, right here you have my gaming setup. So yeah, the best gaming setup ever, I suppose. You got my Nintoaster Switch. It's a toaster. It's, I'm I'm kind of proud of that. But um, otherwise, I'm not too proud. I just got the arcade stick so that I could play Street Fighter on the Switch. You got your controllers, and that's it. That's out right now, except for this N64 which I still need to put up. I guess I'm being kind of lazy about that. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much all that I have at the moment to be able to freely put together everything and stuff. Um, over here in this corner, you could see that I have a couple games that I picked up recently. I have Total Recall for NES. Gonna have to do a video on that one soon once I get everything set up. And then the DK Bongos for Donkey Kong GameCube. I think Donkey Konga. And uh, I'm going to have to... You, you, this It might be a little while before I do a review on these. But, uh, yeah, definitely going to be coming soon. Um, haven't done a review yet because I don't have the NES set up. And I don't have the GameCube set up. So, I need to set those up. Wink, wink. And uh, I also picked up uh, Glover for N64, which I do have ready over there, as you saw earlier, but uh, this, it's Glover, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll play it eventually, though. And uh, that's pretty much it for the game setup. But I do have other things in my room as decoration. For example, this uh, dresser that has really nothing on it except for this is the camera that I used right, I'm not gonna get it out but this is the camera that I used for the first video uh, pretty old and low quality as you could see in the video and I also have this which is pretty cool it's unofficial though so I don't know but I thought it was pretty cool, and it's nice and old and stuff. It's got the, oh, look at that. It's got maps, very undetailed maps. It's awesome. When was this made? It was, uh, uh whenever it was. Probably like 84 or something, 85, 87. And then you got my bed, which you saw in the first video. Uh, I like to keep my bed, uh, Fairly, fairly tidy. This is my dust cover that I put over everything to keep dust from, you know, like invading my consoles and then having me dust them out and stuff. So I just put that over it. I have I don't have anything fancy to put over it, like specially designed covers for a Switch and N64. I don't have time for any of that. So I just throw on a sheet. And then over here, 
you'll see a uh, short uh, uh, spoiler for the next video. I've got here something to box, and I've got something in it for the next video. What's inside, nobody knows. And these baskets and bags for those things. Move this out the way. And then here, I have my closet, which mostly has clothes and stuff, but if you look down here, you have the TV game that I showed in the first video. And all of my Nintendo Switch accessories. And right here, you have my Wii U. I have the Wii U up here. And I think that's it. That's all I have. Uh, you might have noticed earlier, I forgot to mention. But uh, over there, I have some amiibos my boy luigi that's that's he's my number one i had to get him and then i got these third party smash brothers amiibos because i thought they would be expensive at some point but no i'm starting to doubt that and i know they they added more but i just kind of dropped it after a while and uh speaking of the wii u so you saw i had the wii u but where's all my other consoles well those you can find down here. Alright, so here's all of my consoles, uh, excluding the ones in there, which I'll show in a second. But here you have the Wii with all its wires in a bag. You have... Here we have some GameCube controllers and my GameCube from when I was a child. And it has some awesome Smash Bros. stickers on them. It's the indigo one. So that if you looked at the list, you'll see that that one's on there. And uh, you, you have Super Nintendo. It's got the yellow tinting, so it's pretty OG. And then, <laughs> and then a really, really banged up NES. But, I mean, it still works. So that's good, I guess. And then close this, and you look in here. And, ooh, what the... This is Nintendo Pops. I shouldn't have an Xbox. Uh, ignore, ignore. Uh, here I have an original DS, but uh, it's kind of busted up, and I, I'm not even sure if this works. Um, this one turns on, but the L and R buttons don't work for some reason. Maybe I was just too rough with it. But I have some cool Mario stickers on them. This is when I was a kid, and uh, DSI. Yeah, that's it. I mean, there's not much to say about these. I have the Game Boy Player startup discs for the GameCube. Yes, I don't want to spend a lot of money on these. Uh, Game Boy Advance. I have a Game Genie for Super Nintendo. Yes. And I have a bunch of wires. Memory card for N64. I even have the jumper pack, but... It doesn't have a box, unfortunately. And Michael Jackson's Moonwalker for Genesis. Pass. <clears throat> and then, I mean, last but not least, I have like a full collection of these little Street Fighter figurines. And that's it. That's about it. No, I'm just playing. Uh... <laughs> I know you're probably thinking to yourself, where's all the games? Where's all the games? I looked at your list, right? And I saw no game, or I saw a bunch of games, but I don't see them in this room tour. Well, you'll see this big blue tote, and, well, I guess I kind of spoiled the surprise. What's in the blue tote is all the games. And trust me, I do have a lot of them. So, in there, you'll find my entire collection, minus a few games, including all of the NES. So, I don't have any NES in here, because those are in a separate crate that aren't in the room. But, uh, everything else is in here, except for a few things. Like, right here, I got Earthworm Jim for Super Nintendo. I mean, you look on top and you see all the modern stuff, because I kind of organized it that way, but... Once you get below here, you'll start to get to the older stuff. And so, yeah, 
my entire collection fits in this blue tote, which, I mean, it's a lot of games, but like I said, I'm trying to get all of them, and so I'm going to need something a little bit more efficient than just putting all the games in a blue tote. But at least it keeps them away from, you know, light and stuff, and all that, or UV light. But, yeah, uh, I don't got a lot in my room, but, I mean, I'm thankful for what I have, and I'm trying to get more. So, that's, uh, I think that just about covers it. Uh, this is going to be a two-part video. I'm, I'm, this is obviously part one, but um, this this isn't the end. I I have big plans for this room. I just gotta I just gotta put them into fruition, and when I finish, I'll upload and let you guys know. So that'll be it. Uh, have a great day.